channel this is so is up so you are all welcome on today's tutorial we are going to be making it quick and we are going to be making this trending exaggerated structured spiral sleeve call it whatever you want to call it all right so if you're new to our channel thank you for stopping by and if you're an old subscriber you are welcome back so for this tutorial, we are going to be making use of our organza fabric. The organza fabric is a thick type, as you can see on the table. Then our fishing line and the plastic bone. So you can make use of either the fishing line or the plastic bone. Of course, you need your scissors and you need your tape to measure. So the measurement we'll be working with, we are going to be taking the full length of the organza which is by 60 and the width of about 20 inches okay we are taking 60 by 20 we cut that out and after cutting it out you go ahead and fold the edges of your organza then after folding the edges of your organza you mark out on your organza one one inch one inch lines so this line is going to guide you when you want to sew i'm using a disappearing pen so if you're making yours please do not use a pen you can either use a chalk or a disappearing pen too okay you just take your one one inch all from the beginning to the end of your 20 inches width remember the length is 60 and the width is 20 inches so you continue in this format until you get to the end of your fabric so right now i am marking out the lines just taking the one inch across to the other side of the fabric this is very important because it will be a guide in maintaining a straight line while you sew okay so as you sew leave room for there'll be enough for the boning to pass through you can see you can place it on your fabric and mark so that while you pleat you know how to go about it and you continue pleating until you exhaust the fabric you are working with okay now we are on our machine you go ahead and hem the edges of your organza both sides I mean all four corners of the organza you hem the length lengthwise and widthwise okay so we are done hemming all the corners of our organza so the next step to take now is to fold in by our one inch the one, one inch mark we made earlier and just sew it down please the lines are very very essential it will help you at this point i did not use the one i marked on just to show us what would happen if you do not mark on your fabric so there's every tendency that some parts will be bigger than some okay so take as much allowance as would allow or leave as much allowance as would allow either your fishing line or your plastic bone to pass through it the plastic bone is actually very very tiny and um, more like a bigger size of a fishing line so you just go ahead and take your one one inch and stitch it down to the end of the fabric like you do this until you exhaust the fabric and by that time it should be way smaller than it originally was okay so you can see we've made our first pleats and this is how it looks we'll go ahead and repeat the same thing until we get to the end of our 20 inches we'll exhaust the whole of the 20 inches okay so far so good we have finished pleating and our 20 inches is now a bit smaller so the next step to take now 
is to take it to our ironing table and flatten it to make it more straight so as you iron please use low heat do not use high heat iron on a very low heat you know you're working with organza so you just really have to be careful so that you don't get it burnt and you have to start all over okay as you can see on the table you can see that the other end of my organza is bigger than where and when i started or where i started from and this other part i'm ironing now does not have much as much allowance as the other part that is because i did not use the marked one if i had used the marked one all the allowances would have been equal all right so just to avoid that ensure that you mark out so it's time for us to pass our fishing line this is the fishing line i have 1.20 mm so you pass it through the holes the or the channels you have created on your organza fabric so you just put it inside and push that's why the hole you made or the channel you made should be wide enough to enter the organza the fishing line sorry or the plastic bone so you just keep pushing until you bring it out at the other end of your fabric so you do the same thing to all the channels you pass your fishing line through all the channels and this is what you have at the end of the day you can see the coils from the fishing line is already reflecting on the fabric okay this is it you can go ahead and cut the sx fishing line or the leftover you cut out when you were uh, cutting it from the fishing line so this is how it came out so you see the distance between how the other pleats and the last one because i did not use the marked one so always mark out it will help make your work look more neat and everything will be equal so we'll take this to our dress form at the moment and then style it or i'll just be showing us how it looks on the dress form so if you're watching for the first time if you're stopping by our channel for the first time thank you please do well to subscribe you can share this video for other of your friends to learn and follow us on instagram at so with subs is our new instagram handle we just i just opened it so that we can be uploading and be learning uploading short um, tutorial videos on instagram and longer ones on youtube so you can do well to follow us on instagram at so with subs okay we also have a free whatsapp group for free illustrations i'll drop the link to the group in the description box in case you are interested you are equally welcome and on facebook also we have a group the group is equally so with Zobs brackets, Zobs wearables. So thank you all so much for stopping by and please do subscribe and share. All right. Okay, these are a few designs we were able to make from the same organza we just finished working on. So you can freestyle and use this to style your fabric as much as you want.